Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Life is Strange on the Xbox 360. Um, we are playing episode 2 and it's called Out of Time. I'm absolutely loving this game. It is one of the probably the one of the best games I have played apart from Minecraft obviously. And um, yeah, I'm, re I'm really enjoying this game and I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos. And let's see what happens now then. In the previous episode of Life is Dream. Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about the talk. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Matt? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait. Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I did it black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Oh, I remember that bit. It's getting good now. Gucci shirt with a Vuitton jacket. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the cast and papers to you this afternoon. I'm so on it. Consider it done. Hey. Hello. Can anyone tell me where the shower Ow! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, hang on, let me see if I can rewind a minute. I might be able to stop that from happening. Where did that come from? 
Quick. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Who was that? Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. I'm going to see that words, because that's really important. Uh-oh, this action will have consequences. What have I done wrong? Who the hell... Who was that in there? Who let me go in there? Well, let's speak to Kate that. Hello, my matey. How you doing? Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max. Do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Wait, did she go in with her clothes or what? <laughs> okay. Let me guess, something's going to happen. Something weird's going to happen, isn't it? What's up, Kate? School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. Ah, uh, yeah, right. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. Why don't you kick her ass, girl? She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You're such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> well, what are they going to do? They're uploading the video. Great, I've got to stop them. What they wrote on the wall, though? I better get dressed and go give back Kate. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Right. What am I doing now? I've got to get out of the magazine, haven't I? Give up. Stay in my room. What the hell have I been doing in there? Oh, someone's come and trashed my room. Great. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh, you're having a laugh. Where's that going to be? Jesus. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. 
Very zen. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Where is my green be? And nothing here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Oh, Better God. fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Why am I supposed to fix that? Have we got any toilet roll? Can we mop it up? <laughs> Gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now let's go and take it to Kate. I need to get dressed before I go oh. there. Oh yeah, well, it's not, you can't walk around like that really, can you? Just look a bit funny. Get dressed, come on. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Go this way, open the door. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Is that Kate's room here? Is that Kate's room? Fine, I won't disturb you. No broke here. I don't want Burke or Kate. Where's Kate's room? It's my room. Where's Kate's room? Where's Juliet's room? Taylor's room? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Um, uh, okay. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Right, where's... Okay. Oh, there we are. Hello, Juliet. Oh, no. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? 
Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Oh my goodness, where is Kate's room? Maybe she's in the toilet. Hello, Kate. Are you in here? Are you in here? No, I don't think she's here, is she? Your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? Uh, I wanted proof, obviously. I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Matt. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Oh, she's completely drunk. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, very who strange. took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate? We'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Somebody drugged her by the sounds of it. Mm -hmm. We got to talk to that Victoria again, I think. She's a bit of a, a bit of a weirdo. What is that? Is that the door? Is that by the door? What's this? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and 
Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? And look out. I am trapped inside our room. It's not good. What am I supposed to be doing here? That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Let's take a photo. Ouch. She left out animation. Oh, I have to stick out of your bedroom. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely Kate, anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? I'm going to say look for proof first. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Mm-mm. Somebody's not happy. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Let's go and talk to Victoria. Victoria. Talk later, Max. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. I'm not watching the video, Max. Okay. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Oh, nobody wants to talk to me. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Well, what am I doing? <clears throat> sticking out, sticking, sticking out. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. This is so insane. It's this wormhole thing makes I would say the thanks, Victoria. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, 
the greatest. I don't know what to do. Oh, no. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Fine, I won't disturb you. No book here. No need to go there now. Welcome to Black Hill. a morning person. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. This could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd. Thanks for the warning. I'm sorry. I, I was scared. I can be pretty gutless. I don't expect you to get in trouble for me. I just feel like nobody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this stuff. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party. I heard that. It doesn't sound like you. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. I swear to God, I had... Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip of... Did somebody drug you? I remember. I remember getting. Go on. Then Nathan. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft... And? That's all I remember. So, who took the... I have no idea. Jesus, Kate. How do I get a... Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Maybe. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. 
Should I go to the police? Well, I'll say yeah. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you on everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Oh my god, whatever she says goes, she's never happy, is she? Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. I would love to believe Rachel Amber is just hiding. Is anyone going to speak to me today? Let's talk later, Max. Oh, Who will survive and what will be left of them? It would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. Really, Max? Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Well, sorry to exist, Taylor. Oh, Matt, we agree. Do you mind? Leaving? Thanks. Thank you, Matt. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. I'm gonna go this way, I think. And we're gonna find Nathan. Max, check it out. Martin, yeah. what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You look pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's an idiot. 
He is dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Okay. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. The dodgy people. Where am I going now? Okay, it's fast. come yet. The online schedule isn't working. No, I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Right, let's go 
have done it. I think that's where we're supposed to be going. Hello. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Please, Trevor, Trevor and Jesse. Why are you chatting about? Who's that down here? And a weird lady. Why is she called a weird lady? <laughs> oh, so funny. Should I talk to the weird lady? Uh, maybe not. Should I get some chewing gum? No, I don't want to waste my money on that. Oh, I'll better get some drinks then. Can I order a coffee? Can I order a cafe? Excuse me. Hello. I would like a coffee, please. Okay, she's totally ignoring me. Can I order a cake? Drool. Want everything. Hey Trevor. Hello Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. <coughs> I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. It's all laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Okay. Is anyone going to I don't feel like talking right now. But yeah. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. What you Hello? Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. What? Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. <laughs> Joyce rules. I want to be accepted like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. How rude are you? Okay, I've got to speak to this weird lady. It's going to be a lamp. No, I don't Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Okay. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Oh my goodness, what am I supposed to be doing here? Hello? Dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. Kate Rush, I love you long time. I love you long time. That graffiti has been here forever. What am I supposed to be doing here? Gross. Thank you, redneck poet. I might make Chloe check this out with me. 
Why does that so not sound fun? Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean... Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Well, you were very helpful, and Nope, I don't want to go there. Where do you want to go? I don't know where you're supposed to go. You've got the best to go to the diner. There's no one there. Who's that? Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Really, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Yep. I'm ready to cash my lottery. Nope, I don't want to go there. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Oh, nobody steals my lottery ticket. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. Mate, you can't put it. It's got to be something in here, isn't it? I'm having a number blonde moment. I do not know what I'm doing. See you around, Max. Let's talk later when I'm not so hot. Still morning. Thank you. Oh yeah, hello again. Back to breakfast, eh? Oh, Wait, I forgot you had to sit down to water something. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Mac? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at two whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. 
Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Okay. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh, a bacon omelette or a bagel? Bacon omelette sounds good to me. Have a bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Now finish your coffee. Mm, didn't look she went string of coffee. One bacon omelette for the young lady, Sarah. Yeah, graffiti. Warren must have been here. I love the delicious. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe, looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have 
X-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pocket. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. No, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You need to look at the items and... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Time to be ring. Cigarettes. Some pennies. This is a warning ticket. Okay. This is me telling you what's inside your pocket. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, Seven? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pocket? A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, no. I didn't see. I think it's limit. 11, 10 a.m.? That is so wrong. Oh. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and share. I need to I don't need too take long. time out to go to the toilet. So look out for my next video and the next part of this series. Okay, thank you. Bye.